Welcome to Decker Tech. I'm Aaron Decker, and today we're going to be showing the final boss for Cross the Obelisk on max difficulty currently, and kind of see how that goes. Now, I've been kind of holding off and putting, doing this video because I haven't been feeling 100%, and this is going to be a long video, but I've had enough requests recently that I will go ahead and knock this out. I apologize for any, uh, I don't know, like I said, not feeling 100%. Uh, Magnus, let's go through the decks. Magnus, so I got the Arena Champion and Child of the Storm on everyone. So those are some pretty good boons. Magnus, yes, he has a lot of enrages. I got those, like, in the final couple of fights here. But I am missing, like, he's he's not the best here. The Howls are good. Um, I don't like running double blue Intimidates. The problem is I don't have any equipment on him that is giving plus vulnerable stacks. The uh, Hydra Egg's okay because it's nice to just have regen on the team, right? And the boots are great. But overall, like, eh. I'll give this, like, a, a B plus on final deck, right? Cornelius is definitely missing a Scorching Ray. Uh, I am not applying Burn as fast as I'd like. I just, on max difficulty, sometimes you do not have the, the shards and gold to get everything that you need, right? So some things are always going to be missing. In the case of Cornelius, that's going to be a Scorching Ray or otherwise a really good Burn application. Uh, equipment wise, I was screwing around with Pandora's box. I'm not actually a fan of it. I was just having fun. I do not recommend Pandora's box. Fountain pen, fantastic though. So this is one of my saving graces for the run. Uh, Otis, Destiny, amazing. Everything else, pretty meh, but doable, right? And his deck, the Mesmeric Mirage. Uh, I didn't realize that on the new changes to Despair on Madness 16, certain creatures and bosses are now immune to shackle that weren't before so this is a little less powerful than i was expecting it to be but it is it is a corrupted version so it's very playable the six slow is is a big deal i just it needed some speed manipulation so between heavenly blessing and mesmeric mirage i should be able to get my team to take two turns in a row on key turns that i want to and of course all the sanctuaries are fantastic uh, i still have the shield of warding somehow eh oops but, I mean, it's okay, right? And then Reggie, of course, doing all the Reggie things. His deck is, is actually very solid. This I, I enjoy this. This is good. Now, for anyone watching this, and don't forget, these flashes were not one-cost flashes up until the final floor. I did not switch these until literally just the most recent... Uh, wow, Alter, right? I did, these, these have been zero-cost flashes up until now. Until you hit level 5... Do not make these ones. Uh, and then equipment. Power coil is the other saving grace that I have. The Sire Fortress, it's nice and all, but it's not really needed. Uh, if I had a slower tank, I would throw it on him. But, uh, I mean, it's a nice card. Don't get me wrong. But it's not. it wasn't needed, right? And the Chalice is not ideal. I'd rather have the Hammer, but, I mean, I'm not going to complain about the Chalice. So... I mean, his items, like, Reggie's actually in a really good place, which means I should have a, a high chance of defeating the boss. And here we go. Doesn't matter who I pick here. We'll do Cornelius. Yes. I guess I could have let a little more time for you to maybe pause and look at that. All right. Mr. Hans here. I'm not going to call him Handshake because we all know this is Hans, the developer, right? So... Uh, he's going to summon clones, and I'm going to have to nuke down the clones as fast as possible. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to save all these AoE vulnerables for when the clones show up. And I'm going to try to explain as I go, but honestly, I just need to be able to get through this video. So some of the stuff I might not be explaining as much as I normally would, so I apologize if that's the case. I am also playing on fast mode, so sorry about no animations. What do I want here? I think I just want ones that, that exhaust. I mean, that burn. Vanish. I can use my words here. Because I don't think, actually... Yeah, I don't think any of these are worth my time. I think I'd rather just have an Ignite, I guess. Because I don't actually want to keep any of those cards in my deck. So normally, this Shackle would be fantastic because... Hey, look, all these clones. I gotta take two turns against them. But they are immune to shackle on despair. So do not despair, but it is not as ideal as it could be. 
So I'm just trying to burn down the clones before they get a turn, which easier said than done for sure. Like I'd like to do this just to get it out of my deck, but I think I kind of, we're just going to get it out of my deck. It's unfortunate because I should have just taken that out of his, his final form. But now the Mesmeric Mirage, this will, should, should give me another turn because of the, the super slow, right? So... Yeah, see, but that's unfortunately, Reginald is not fast enough to go in front. So, actually what I'm going to do, and I think I did this last time. So I've actually, I've actually done this fight before. So, I really need two turns on Reggie before the clones take their turn, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed a scroll to Otis and see if I can actually get the speed boost on Otis as well. Because I would like to go before those stupid clones. So... One thing to remember is when you're feeding these these scrolls, right? These uh, these things to manipulate, uh, give extra cards and whatnot. It's sometimes most important to give it to your guy with all the speed manipulation first. Then the uh, and I'm not going to do the shadow binding. I I regretted that last time. Let's see if I can get the speed boost here. Come on, draw a speed boost. Nope. It's unfortunate that maybe I'm trying to find. I just need to get away for Reggie to maybe Otis. I think whatever. We're, get, we're trying to find a way to go two turns against these guys, and I might as well in favoring when I double bubble here. Uh, both these sanctuaries are good, so I was just trying to see which sanctuary had more bless on it, but they're the same. I should have done the uh, the vitality one. I should have fanaticism for sanctuary. I'm not going to reset for it. But if I get super close to these clones, I will reset for it. I'm not above that. Like, this, this is just... I'm supposed to be playing as efficiently as possible, and I was not doing so. So, Crusader, and then start drawing cards. You want to make sure you have as many holy spells in your hand when you're doing these reverberation procs as possible. I'm going to spread the damage here. I'm going to try to kill all the clones at the same time. Uh, oh, Magnus... He's not going to slow them down, but Magnus is too vulnerable. We'll give it to Cornelius. Cornelius is going before them. And then I need one more set of Bless before... So I draw. I still have a draw. Okay, so all my Reverberation are gone, so now I'm just actually casting in appropriate orders. So let's get some Bless going. Some Stormsies. Some burn someone down. Let's do the front guy because he acts first. And just bust his dome a little. Dang it. Didn't get that holy fire. Alright, so hopefully we have some vulnerable going on here. Whoops, there goes the deck. Did not draw as many. So maybe I should have fed that scroll instead of Cornelius to Magnus because I would really like another piercing howl here. But at least I got the captain's howl, so that's that's good. We're going to vulnerable up the two that are highest hit points here. Don't have any uh, defense spells to proc that, but let's see if we can not... I guess I got one here. All right, maybe I'm talking too much. I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing and talk, but... It is a stressful fight. Uh, da, da, da. So if I play a fountain pen, I'll draw something from in here. Maybe a combustion? That would be good. This is just a free spell. So ignite first. Who do we want to ignite? Probably this guy since it has most HP. And let's just go a burn. Uh, I should have enough to play combustion if I do a tome. So draw a combustion. Nope. Uh, who needs energy? Bam, 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 bam. Uh, and as many cards here as possible. So unfortunately, Otis and Reggie are not going before the guys. So, I think... How many cards does Magnus have? I want Magnus to draw one more. Because Reggie's drawing Max. Otis... We'll give Otis another card. 21 hit points. That's unfortunate. Because then he dispelled everyone, right? So, uh, if I am going to reset this, I just need to focus a little more damage on the front guy. Uh, if I'd done the triple Sanctuary on Otis instead of the double Sanctuary... On the first turn, that would have been enough difference there, for sure. 
Now just play all the cards. Sure, I don't think it matters. Sanctuaries are more important than anything else <clears throat> for the Otis right now. Because I just need Max Bless on the Cornelius. Alright, so I still need to kill the clones. Clones don't have any fire on them. So these holy fires are garbage. I am at max bless. So let's just go destroy these. Oops, I was supposed to be flashing first. Oh well. Uh, I have no more reverberations, so just cast away. Although I could shuffle. Do I like the blast? I think the blast is the only thing I want to shuffle. So let's let's see what my shuffle looks like. And this is of course just usual Reggie things. If you have any questions on the Reggie stuff, let me know. I will be happy to explain, but I'm just trying to get through this fight. I'm actually going to split this up, I guess. Uh, uh, this will be just the Han check and then... Spoilers, there's a second fight. Seven energy, I should spend some. These holy fires are just, I'm not gonna burn this one because he doesn't have any burn on him. And like I said, power coil, kind of the redeeming grace here. Rip pets. Uh, Cornelius is already there, so we need some of this. Uh, max vulnerable, that's what we needed. Give some inspire here through the uh, Valiant Defender. And then I just need to apply as much burn as possible. I'll probably combust first, draw the combust. Yes! <laughs> I wasn't guaranteed to draw the combust there. And then play out some Ember Storms. Doot, 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 doot. If I uh, had the capability to do some editing, I would fast forward through this part, but unfortunately for me to get these videos out, I can't afford to, uh, to stress about editing, so sorry guys. And girls. And peoples. You know what I mean? Like, I just, for me to get these videos out, I can't, I can't do editing. So, you're just gonna see it in all of its glory of pew, 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 pew. So what I should have done is uh, I didn't see that I was going to shuffle. What I need to do is get these holy fires into the, uh, the bin before I did it. I might keep this holy fire one more time because it's scaling so well, right? Yeah, see, I, I made a mistake here. So it wasn't giving me my free, uh, my free holy smite until after I had, uh, uh, played a card that didn't draw a card. And I don't want to spend anything that's super expensive, although a blast, I would have maybe paid three or four energy for a blast. So, biggest thing here is I'm keeping up max vulnerable stacks, max powerful, and I'm trying to get to max burn. I can't get to max burn because I did not afford a Scorching Ray. So it's a little slow there, but otherwise I'm doing all the things right. Oh, I should have played that just for the mark. I was thinking, oh man, he's at max vulnerable. I don't need to do anything. Um, so I think I want, I can't, I can't draw the combust because I have this stupid shadow binding in my thing. So I need to give Cornelius a card. Give ready some cards. He'll die eventually. Just take some time. Uh, on so this is a, a team that Reggie is the main DPS everyone else here is just a supporting cast right so I 
180 something burn. Yeah, I'll, I'll use this combustion now. I can maybe wait one more time, but. All right, so I need to use the things that I want to cycle through my deck before I draw again. So I want to blast, holy fire. Yeah, we'll just do this one, bam. And now I can keep drawing again to see if I get the holy blast and holy fire. Yeah, see, there's that holy fire. If I had the holy hammer, order doesn't really matter as much so that I make sure that I have a max uh, sanctify going on, which is only 40 right now. But as you can see, he's still got, you know, negative 33 holy resist, which is a little higher than I'd like. It's the, with 250 burn stacks, you can always get to negative 95 uh, fire resist, right? So that's a useful thing. Uh, and as you can see, he's starting to do a lot of damage to us. Um, so I'm running out of turns, but, I mean, he's dead right here, right? This, plus a redraw. And this. Bam. Got him! You know what? We're going for both of them. We're doing them both. No. My gem. My gem of power is cracking. What will I do? What is this? What's going on? What? And what? Dun, dun, dun. Don't mind me. I'm sure there'll be better uh, voicing and and sound than, than my, my abilities here. I like it that it's kind of like a void that the gem's sitting in, and that he has four arms. Super legit. So, Hanshek, that was an easy fight, right? I would like everyone to take a look at this nerfed hit point pool of this man. Like, look at this. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, second verse, same as the first. Um, I will spend these howls. I might keep... He does summon a, an ad, so I might keep the, the better Howl uh, if I draw it. I'll use the Derpy Howls. Uh, I'll keep one of the Derpy Howls because I would like to make sure I get a lot of vulnerable on this ad he's about to summon. All right, speed manipulation on this fight. I want to make sure I take two turns not on Apothesis here because this one, if I could highlight it, He's got super holy and fire resist. Ooh, combustion. Yes, please. Uh, we'll just do the mana search, I think. Because I want something that vanishes. Either I want it to be a combustion or something that vanishes, right? Yeah, that looks good. Uh, I don't want to take two turns on the holy and fire resist turn because, as you can see, 93% without, like, even with two vulnerable stacks, like... This is not a good turn for my DPS, right? Since I'm I'm holy in fire. So I want to wait for round two to take two turns on his round two and skip his round three. Or even, honestly, two turns on round three and skip round one because he's got so much resist round one, right? So this shackle thing, which, again, shackle does not affect the clone. But I will save the shackle for the boss man when it comes time. Uh, we're going to do Otis for speed manipulation like we did last time. Maybe I just burn this right now. I'll save it. Yeah, there's a Heavenly Blessing and a Mesmeric. Can I afford both? Let's find out. Do, 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 do. Yes, I can. So, Blessing. Ah, shoot. I need to go twice in front of the clone, but I don't want to shackle the... Is unfortunate. I need to shackle the clone, or slow down the clone to kill the clone, but that means I'm going to do that whole I don't want to take two turns against boss man thing that I was mentioning, right? It is what it is. And save that bubble for next turn. I don't have any sanctuary up, but I will be taking two turns on the clone, so it's okay. Martyrdom. So Magnus is immune to the speed down because of his steadfast boots. Boots. So I'll just be passing it to Magnus most of the time, and he'll pass it back. That way, I should have enough uh, doom stacks going on. Uh, scroll of intellect. Who needs to be doing the things next turn? I want. I want Otis to double sanctuary us or triple sanctuary us. So I'm gonna give something to Otis, and then I want 
Cornelius to get all his flame going. So let's give Cornelius some, and Cornelius will give Otis some. And just going for the clone, because the clone is obnoxious. Doing the three draws for my reverberation. Perfect. And then let's do some bless stacks. Maybe a draw. I'm not going to do the Holy Crusader this turn. Well, this gets me a lot of bless, right? And it only has three uses. Yeah, we just really need to kill the clone. Even though I'm losing out a little DPS on the Holy Resist turn, right? I just, this clone needs to die. Alright, so I got the Super Howl. I need to keep the Archon at 10, so I'm actually going to start dipping that on the Archon. I think one more scroll to Cornelius. Yes. Yeah, Archon's now at 10, so that's good. So this is the good one. The good one, I need to be passing between the the DPSs in Magnus, and the crappy one will go to Otis in the DP and the and Magnus. So unfortunately, Cornelius. Ah, crap. Crap, 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 crap. You see what I did? I put Cornelius behind the. Uh, I know I should have done it. I should have done it, Otis. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's good. We're we're no, no, no nothing wrong here. This, this speed manipulation can be a thing, especially since that, that thing does so much speed. I think that might be changing here, if I recall correctly. Uh, so I can Unwavering, then Double Sanctuary. I was supposed to give Otis another scroll so I could do Triple Sanctuary, or Quadruple Sanctuary, but we're at max bless on Reggie, so it's fine. Um, Reggie needs more cards, and everyone's pretty fine in the health department. I right, uh, need Max Powerful. Need to draw some cards. And need to reverberate. I think that guy's dead to just a Holy Fire now. Yeah, so I can go on Boss Man now. Although there's still not a good DPS turn on Boss Man. Alright, I'm saving this for when he's at like 200 plus fire stacks because. As you can see, we're going to have problems with him. Whoops, I probably should have Holy Blast. In. So normally this Holy Blast, I have it um, set to the the times 2 Vanish version, but only for the boss that I change it back to the blue because the boss resets Sanctify stacks and I have to keep going on it. So there's a lot of cards that in the final altar, right before the boss, you're going to want to switch cards over just to make it more appropriate to boss man's uniqueness. Ooh, max powerful. And yes, I'll spend four for a blast because uh, I say that, but he's on his super holy resist turn, so screw that. And every time I hit him, he's he's healing. He's getting what nineteen barrier. All right, so I just need fire. I also need to save Otis's life. Otis, don't die. Once I have two of them bouncing around, it'll be a lot easier. I would like Max Burn, please. Yeah. Get him, Cornelius. Yeah, see, now that Holy Fire is going to do so much better. Just having a second Combust made... Uh, fire stacks a lot better. Uh, so I really so we're all a max bless. So the reason to give cards to Otis is if we're falling behind at hit points or if I need more bless, which would be nice on Cornelius, but I think I'll be okay with that. So I just need to make sure that Reggie is now at max inspire. Or if you need to make sure that you get sads out of decks, there's reasons for that. Or whoever you're passing the uh, the hot potato to, whoever you're sending the doom to is the one you need to give more inspire to. Uh, I'm gonna let you look through all these Archon cards later, or maybe I'll look at them here at the end, or maybe next turn I'll, I'll take a look at them, but I'd like to think if you're watching this video, you've at least seen this fight before once, and you know which cards are dangerous to you, and you'll see how I'm playing around them. Me, for the most part, 
I really don't like I just kind of mindlessly get past a lot of the stuff so maybe you'll have a, a take a look at my buffs debuffs and spells I'm using to see how I'm getting past that and he just nerfed all the burn stacks so we're not doing holy fire this turn and we have to get past this buffer which is one reason maybe I take keep sanctuary for this turn not sanctuary uh Holy Storm. Holy Crusade, that's the one. Um, I think I need to pass this to... Yeah, this is a crap DPS turn, so the Martyrdom can go to Reggie. And he's at max set. Everyone's weak. He's doing dodge. There are a lot of reasons to not DPS right now. And again, I'm just going to try to get through the motions, guys. Hopefully this is enjoyable to you. I don't really know what to talk about. The sads, like, since I have, you know, 15 card decks, I need to get rid of sads as soon as possible. Unfortunately, my vanish pile gets really big. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I was, I was saving on not doing that just for the evasion, but I guess I put burn on him. So, I right, martyrdom. Everyone's pretty healthy on the martyr, so we'll give it to Magnus. Since he's immune to slow, and he'll pass it probably to Cornelius next. Uh, same thing, Reverberation. So when I'm playing Reverberation, I'll make sure I, I look at my draw pile, make sure I'm not drawing past things. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so we're going to proc the evasion a couple times. And then I'm going to get a big hit in. I'm not going to do this one. I'll do this one right here. And then I'll proc his evasion once. I'll get a couple hits in. And then let's take the evasion off. And call it a day. Sure, we'll draw one more card. Whoops, I should have done that a long time ago. Three, eight. So he's at max even. So I'm going to pass him. So you just, like I said, when you you got to know who you're going to be passing the hot potato to. To make sure they draw all their cards. So Cornelius is still going to draw all his cards. So is Magnus. So he's just going to himself. Hot potato there. Magnus did not draw all his cards because I forgot about the sads. But it's fine. This is an okay DPS turn. So Otis will be sure to get the uh, the weak off of someone who's going to do more damage. Reggie or Cornelius. Probably Reggie, so... Let's get the week off him. Uh, da, 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 da. This guy's got a lot of sanctify. We've all got a lot of sanctify, so that's gonna that's gonna pop to dark and stuff, right? So, or some crap like that. I don't know the details. I just say, ah, crap! Protect everyone. Da, 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 da. Draw all the cards. Now to go a flashing. He's still got Max Sanctify, so I don't have to worry about the order there. And one more Reverberation. Then put into the deck the cards I want to play again. And then draw again. Uh, I could cast that or I cast the Storm. It's uh, definitely going to be the Storm. Let's see if I draw the Blast. Nope. Still going to save this purple holy fire. I know it's kind of silly that I'm holding on to it so long, but I really would just like to use it at its best because it makes me feel good. All right, so I've got the good one and the bad one. So let's give the... I hate to do this. I'm going to give the bad one to Otis. Yeah, it should be fine. Otis should be fine. And the good one to Reggie. Because I don't want these injuries in my DPS's deck, right? Uh, Shackle, I want to do this next turn. If given the chance. Alright, I'll probably stop talking, but I, I, feel, I feel the need to fill the void, you know what I mean? One thing with Restricted Power is his block also goes to Restricted Power, so I can't. he can't heal himself more than... 
he's allowed to. See, if I had better vulnerable stacking, this would be a lot easier. All right, who's going to get nuked? Uh, you're going to nuke yourself, so I'll give you a little something. Maybe I should have done this according to this. Because I look super healthy, but I think this is the turn where I take damage. Yeah. Alright, uh, here's the Shadow Binding. So this is the round where he's actually, like, he's super vulnerable to fire, and he's fairly vulnerable to holy. So I need to uh, Shadow Binding him now. Alright, so I get two turns against him. Use it to our best. I can't draw double combustion, so I won't try. Uh, bad potato up front. And by bad potato, good potato, I mean one of them does one doom charge and one of them does two doom charges. The, the more charges, the better, because it's more efficient stacking, right? And so I do need to get super healthy for this next uh, cycle, because he's going to take two turns in a row, and he's just going to nuke my team, right? So i got to clear all this dark off of my team if I can. And since I'm not running a mass dispel, I have to do it with normal dispels. Alright, so I need, so he, he cleared off Sanctify, so I gotta get Sanctified him, on him sooner rather than later. So, I'm at Max Bless. I'm gonna do one more Flash, just for efficiency's sake. Before I blast him, and now give him Max Sanctify. He's a basically Max Burn, so let's go Burn. Burn! Yeah, big hit. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Uh, pass Potato up to Magnus. And just keep on blasting. So I got the good cards I want to use in here. So I want to go through my draws and try to redraw one of them. Uh, is it worth redrawing? So I got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to recast anything. That's unfortunate. Hey, look, guys, I'm halfway there. Just got to do this same cycle five more times, and uh, we'll be good. I don't have any more shackles, though. <sighs> yeah, I'll just save the energy. All right, good potato to the DPS. Bad potato to the healer. Just for this, like, you got to find the, the cycle that works the best for your team. Uh, everyone's got reinforced, so it doesn't really matter where I send that. Yeah, 79 damage to myself. That makes sense. And we're rinsing and repeating. I've not done this before. Pew, pew, pew. So it's whether I do Holy Fire or Holy Storm. It's a Holy Fire. That's why we reshuffle them. You see? Like... So much more damage. It's all about finding your detonator, is what we call them, the, that holy fire, because it's reliant on these 250 burn stacks. So it does so much more damage. Dang it, I needed to have a, one more scroll of intellect to Cornelius so that I could draw... Like, I'm only going to do two combustions instead of three, and it's all about getting as many combustions as possible. Like, I, I almost could have killed him this round if I had been more efficient, right? You see how close I am? Um, so, yeah. And the good one, I'm going to toss it up to Magnus, who will then pass it back to Reggie. Alright, but this is a turn I might like die, because I gave him, I'm going to give him two turns in a row, right? So, what's most dangerous? I guess just this dark. Uh, who's the weakest right now? Reggie, but Reggie's got the super armor and mitigate going on, so I think Cornelius is most likely to die, right? I don't think anyone's actually going to die, because he's only taking two turns, like... I don't think these are dangerous two turns. I don't remember, though. Yeah, they're the dangerous two turns. Cornelius might die. Magnus is going to try his best to save him. Alright, so good potato to the back. Bad.
that. Potato to the healer. Try to get Max Vulnerable, but I can't because he's got buffer stacks. So even though I did so much damage during that one round, like that double turn, there's just... I'm doing so less damage this, this set, right? Yeah. See, so he took two turns in a row, so we actually took damage, but we're okay. So I need to get Burn going, but I can't because of buffer stacks. So... Yeah, this round sucks. Doot, 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 doot. But it looks like I'm going to beat him, right? It's I'm almost out of the woods here. I need to get rid of the weak. So we can do some damage. Bad potato up front. And let's give a little love to Reggie here. Alright, so now I got two bad potatoes. Let's send all the all the potatoes up to this guy. And when you're doing these potato passes, you gotta make sure that you're looking at your turn order because remember these normally slow people down. The reason I'm throwing everything to Magnus is because he's not being slowed down. But you know, Otis is sitting here in the danger zone. Like, you just gotta be careful of who you pass to and when and why. Yes, hurt yourself. <sighs> oh, I've already shuffled, dang it. I didn't look at my deck. So I need to get Sanctify on him. So let's get some Sanctify. He's got a decent amount of burn, so that'll be nice. Uh, I've done all my reverberations, so holy fires, smites. Probably should have done one more sad, because I need to get the sads out of the deck so that I draw good next turn. I need to draw good. Get some vulnerable going on here. Next turn is off the super damage turn, so we should be fine. Uh, sanctified, dark, dark. So let's protect. Let's just protect the DPS. Because honestly, if anyone dies in this... Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, guys. I got rid of the good one. Uh, <laughs> this is why making videos is hard. Because I am driving distracted. So I am prone to make mistakes. If I lose this... Yeah, see, this, the turns are just getting more dangerous, right? And I didn't get weak off of Cornelius here. So he's going to combust him, but it's not going to be... Let's go draw another Ember Storm. Get the Ember Storm going. And then do the combusts. This one does more applications. Reggie, save us now! Alright, Otis Pig, man. Do some healing. Uh, I need you to save Cornelius, because I got rid of the good one. <laughs> uh... Uh, let's see, we got weak, we got burn, we got dark. He should be able to clear his own dark if he draws his dispel. So let's just go with Cornelius. And yes, I'd like energy, but no, I don't need it right now. Because I have destiny. Alright, hurt yourself a little, that's fine. Alright, and then check my deck. I can do two flashes before I have to shuffle things in. So let's shuffle in the blast, get Sanctify up to max again, do some Holy Fire, and let's try to draw that Holy Fire! Come on, Holy Fire. Come on, Holy Fire. Ah, that's okay, I'm fine. I, I should have him, right? He's super close. 170, 130s. And there we did it! As you can see, I almost died couple places I made mistakes but hopefully you had a good taste of uh, how to get through this like I said the biggest thing are those detonators and in my case it's the combustion and the holy fire just because you have to find an efficient way to deal damage he doesn't clear fire stacks very well um, so that's what I was relying on but whatever it is you're stacking poison fire uh, sight and whatever you're using to make those big you know 500 plus damage attacks those are the things you need to rely on and cast as often as possible. Meanwhile, trying to keep your team healthy and dispelling on key turns the, the correct buffs because, you know, he turns, what, insanity to dark, or sanctify, sanctify into dark, that kind of stuff. Like, he goes, he goes through his cycle. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I will catch you later. Peace.